Hello YouTube viewers, this is Heliok here. Today we're gonna learn how to make high poly from a low poly. So as you can see, this is a low poly. As you can see, the tri count is only 2500. So I already made the low poly, but now I want to create a high poly. Now I'm gonna first demonstrate the technique, then I'm gonna do it with uh, audio off. So this is, this is a part. All you have to do is properly align the smoothing groups exactly the way you want to. Smoothing groups has to be very clean. Once you do that, all you have to do is apply turbo smooth on it. But you can see it can like basically mess things up. All you have to do is activate smoothing groups. And now you can see it still didn't improve that much. But as you can see, this shape is properly preserved. That means smoothing groups are missing in this location. Let's add smoothing group, shall we? Uh, now, and each plane has to have its own uh, smoothing group. So, Now let's see what our result is. Okay, this part needs some fixing. As you can see, the main shape is now preserved, only this part is messed up. So, let's fix this part, shall we? You can also try this uh, auto smoothing group by angle, but majority of the time it doesn't work very good. So, it's up to you if you want to try it, go ahead. I rather so first clean all the clear all. You can recycle smoothing groups, that's uh, that's okay with you, but I don't do it, it's confusing for me. And whichever surface you want to hold one shape, you will give them one smoothing ID. Let's see what we have got here. Now you can see the whole shape is fully preserved, but you will say, okay, this part is smooth enough, but there's no tangible improvement here. You know, it's not making a smoothing group. You make it two, and then you apply turbo smooth again on top of it. Now, I think. now you get your high poly. See, this is called dual layer turbo smoothing. Uh, if I want, uh, like, let's say it's a very low poly DM object, you know, texture page is not very used. So you want, you know, your edges to be kind of uh, blurry because texture won't capture very sharp things unless you have very high resolution. So this, if you want, you know, some sort of smooth effect. Smooth, uh, I don't like it. So increase it. You can go higher, but be careful. The Yeah. This might be very good for uh, actual high poly where you have texture resolution of 2 or 3K. Uh, two or four case, pardon me, things like this. So this is how you can make high poly after you have made the low poly. So it it doesn't waste your time, doesn't have to worry about chamfering. Although there would be some tiny effects that you have to worry about. In this model, there is one here, here, but it's not that important. Be sure you uh, accidentally do not activate this um, ISO line display because it will mess it up. Yeah never ever activate iso line display on the layer one on layer two you can activate you can activate both of them that won't be an issue so, so this uh, to recap first give smoothing groups to every shape that you want to you know make sure that has its own id then apply turbo smooth to control the sharpness of it increase the lower level oh it's got too much
Alright, so now I'm gonna pause this video and I'm gonna start doing this main gun, but this time there won't be an audio. So, uh, one more thing to uh, I have to tell you guys: if your edges are not coming this smooth, as you can see in the last part, your edges might be coming like this. That means this explicit normal in the lower layer is active. You have to make sure that it is disactive. That was my bad. Sorry about that. So yeah, although you can still activate it in higher layers. It doesn't matter that much, but yeah, it's not doing much. So we just let it be on. So now let's do the primary modeling. This.
as you can see once we have completed the model there are some problems like in this area so this, these are the areas where you have to use either chamfer or uh, things like that to fix it so let's try to fix uh, as many of us this as you can fix because you can just let it be and fix it in photoshop that's also acceptable so i deleted first layer of turbo smooth then let's see how it works so let's yeah this is tricky at best so let's see what it did okay see as you can see it fixed this part you will never able to fix almost all of it so be realistic in your goals let's activate this I want to fix it okay here we have some issues Can't, no. Let's see, this should help fix this one. Yep, this fixed this one. So, two issues. Is, oh, this is also fixed. Let's try something else from Larger. Yeah. This never works too, like 100% accuracy, so you have to be cautious you don't want to spend waste most of your time trying to fix something that can't be fixed that would be just waste it should be like this Top okay it's fixed and where you absolutely can't fix it uh, there is a old fashioned way to fix it but before I try that let me try this thing Yep, this fixed it. So only a few left one and two. These two are already fixed. This is a place where you can use chamfer and things like that. It will be very handy. Let's try chamfer for this one. But beware chamfer will give a bit of a weird edge here. majority of it this is left let's try that cut method here should work nothing fancy just cut it out fixed that's not an option here Needed some serious adjustment. This one is working. This one is not. But it's even lost. Okay, let's see what needs to be done. Fix it. Yeah, not much can be done for these things. So there you go. This is how you make high poly from a low poly but beware this is 
a high poly that is only used for form detail you are getting forms out of it like you are getting smoother round the smaller curves and all like that but you are not getting surface detail well okay again come on yeah this is for form detail not surface detail like let's say you want some cutouts here and uh, some rail in this location you have to do it either it in photoshop or you have to do it in uh, uh, max itself but this was my tutorial of how to make high poly form high poly basically from a low poly i hope you guys liked it uh, if you like it click like if you hate it please dislike and uh, leave a comment on what subject you want me to cover next so thank you